Hello and welcome to another episode of Double Barrel Gaming. I'm your host, Mr. Boomstick XL, and today we're going to be talking about PSX 2017 and how I was very let down by the entire event. Now maybe if I were there in person experiencing all the wonderful things Sony had to show, I may have felt differently, but sadly that was not the case. Let's start out with the glaring elephant in the room, the new God of War. No one is more excited for the new God of War but me. I have waited for this game since it was announced three years ago and have been on the hype train ever since. And if God of War plays anything like Horizon Zero Dawn, I know it's going to be in my top three of 2018 and I'm super excited. Last week, the release date was accidentally leaked. I'm doing air quotes here, people. Accidentally. It was set to release on March 22nd, 2018, which is standard for past God of War releases. Unfortunately, the date has now been changed back to December 31st, 2018. If God of War is supposed to release in only a few months, then why hold back the date? PSX is a Sony-only show, and past E3, there are no other shows that would give Sony the spotlight like PSX. The fact that Sony has yet to give us a proper release date has me concerned that a delay is around the corner, and I certainly hope not. Now for complete transparency, I am super excited for many of Sony's releases in 2018. I'm buying God of War, Spider-Man, Detroit Become Human, and Days Gone. I'm a huge single-player fan, and that is exactly why I own a PlayStation 4 Pro. On Sony's machine, you can enjoy adult-themed, story-driven adventures, and that's exactly what I want. Sony's exclusives are fantastic and are well worth my money. It's these reasons why I feel so let down by the extremely poor showing from this year's PSX. Where the heck are all of the release dates? I expected release dates for God of War and Days Gone, and we didn't get release dates for anything, and that's another reason why I'm slightly disappointed. The more I watched the show, the more it felt like the developers that were marched onto the stage didn't want to be there. It felt extremely awkward and uncomfortable. The stage setup was so low to the floor, they might as well have been sitting on it. Talking to developers and hearing their stories is extremely interesting, but in a different setting, not on stage at PSX. Okay, now I've talked about the bad stuff, let's get into what I liked about the show. The Detroit Become Human demo that the crowd was involved in was awesome. If I were there, I would have enjoyed yelling out what choice to make next. The Wipeout announcement was unexpected and should make anyone who still owns a PlayStation VR excited to play the free update. This was a golden opportunity for Sony to put forth unannounced PlayStation VR titles to get the crowd and the people that still support it excited. Unfortunately, Sony dragged their heels regarding VR and I truly feel like it may go the way of the PlayStation Vita. The showing that they had at this year's PSX was small, and I certainly expected more. Okay, let's talk PlayStation VR a little more. I was a day one adopter, and thoroughly enjoyed my time with it. The issue I have always had with it was having to unplug the unit in order to have the HDR work. When Sony developed PlayStation VR, they didn't include an HDR pass-through, so I recently sold it. But after seeing what's currently available and the few games that have me excited for 2018, I went out last Saturday and I bought the updated hardware. It was an early Christmas gift to myself and usually those are the best. Do you currently own PlayStation VR? Are you as excited as I am for the future? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. With zero release dates offered to the PlayStation masses, how could anyone not be let down by this year's PSX? Why are these dates being held so close to the vest when some of these games are supposed to come out within the first three months of 2018? All I know is for a Sony-focused event, they dropped the ball. Considering that the setting was supposedly... An open forum with Sony brass and top developers, the information that was produced was lacking to say the least. 
The games that were shown by Sony have me excited to be a PlayStation 4 Pro owner. What worries me is exactly when in 2018 are we going to get some of these great titles. Only time will tell, but 2018 looks to be another great year for Sony. Thank you for checking out today's video. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed the latest content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that like button. It helps the channel grow. From the Boom family to yours, have a safe and happy holiday. For today's Community Spotlight, I'm going to be talking about Fuzzy Belvedere. First and foremost, I want to publicly salute and thank Fuzzy for his service defending this great country. Service men and women do not get enough credit for their constant sacrifice and I needed to address this before saying another word. Fuzzy Belvedere is a car enthusiast family man and casual gamer who started gaming in the early 80s thanks to his mom and his older sister who obsessed over the handheld version of Miss Pac-Man. As soon as he was tall enough to see the screen in the arcades, he spent many hours playing Elevator Action, Kung Fu Master, Akari Warriors, and Tempest, just to name a few. His first gaming system was the ColecoVision, followed by the Commodore 128. As he got older, his passion for gaming never wavered, and he has owned everything from the Sega Genesis all the way through the current gen systems. He gave PC gaming a try, but Windows Vista ruined it for him, and he eventually decided to come back to console gaming. He owns a PlayStation 4 and recently discovered how great the Xbox brand is, and has been happy ever since. Though he still hates Windows Vista, and honestly, who doesn't? You can find him pretty much everywhere on social media, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, and Mixer. Please give him a follow and a like on his channels. All his links will be in the show notes below.